Welcome back. Although most schools are starting the year entirely online, some will still be using the bus to get to school. Yeah, so recently we got a look at what will all go in to keeping the buses clean. Students that will ride the bus to start the school year will be some of the first to test out new safety measures. It's quite a bit different, as I'm sure you can understand. This summer, Badger Bus was transporting some students in Verona and Madison. Here's video Verona Schools provided of students going to summer school. Badger Bus co-owner John Meyer says the company has been working with districts all summer to come up with a plan of action for students to return. Definitely people that are concerned and they want to know, and we're transparent. Just like anybody else needs to be, we all need to be that way. And, um, you know, we're relying on the professionals and the scientists to help us through this process. One thing that will be different this year is students will start loading at the back of the bus. That way they won't have to walk past each other when they get on. Ventilation is another way to prevent the spread of COVID-19. Badger Bus will keep windows down and keep the emergency exit on the roof popped open. Students will be spread out but there's no strict policy on how far apart they'll sit. Badger Bus has also trained staff on new cleaning protocols, demonstrated here in this video Badger Bus provided. It includes when and how to sanitize surfaces. Badger Bus also says once a day, they'll use an electrostatic disinfectant sprayer. We feel comfortable and we feel ready that we're gonna do a good job for, um, for the kids and for, the, for the, the, the teachers and the parents here and making sure that they have a, a very, very clean, safe experience. So this is going to be one aspect of back to school that bigger districts will be looking at as they continue putting their plans in place to eventually reopen. Now, we talked about ventilation in that piece there, which is very important. And one thing that John told me is that in the winter months, they'll probably have to keep those windows down and the emergency uh, exits propped open, too. And, you know, just figure, you know, bundle the kids up inside to keep the air circulating inside. Let the parents know they're doing that so they're wearing yeah. enough proper winter clothing. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, you got to do what you got to do at this point. Mm -hmm. uh, and another thing we talked about was, you know, the spacing for students. Earlier in the summer, we saw some guidance that said that every other row, you know, and maybe you can fit two kids into one seat, you know, if they're from the same household. Um, but uh, Mr. Meyer there said that they're, they're not really doing that, but he doesn't anticipate that being a problem since the buses aren't going to be full and they're going to be ride much uh, lower ridership. So they're going to try to space those kids out as best as they can, but there knows, there's no strict rule about where kids have to sit. Certainly easier for smaller districts. Mm -hmm.